with our good friend, Lisa Wisner. It's time to power up this Monday. Let's celebrate diversity with Lisa Wisner. Hi, I'm Lisa, and I welcome you to Power Up with Lisa Wisner, a space where we share tips and life hacks on how you can live your life as a power up hero in real life. Let me ask you, can dreams change the world? Just think of those four famous words, I have a dream. Martin Luther King Day is celebrated every January and as we reflect on the impact that we've experienced around the world, this is really a good time for us to think about how we can honor Dr. King's legacy not only on his day, but all year round. See, Dr. King had a dream and that dream was the foundation of his legacy story. He had a dream where he called to an end of racism and over a quarter of a million people heard this speech and now of course millions of people have understood that this speech was really pivotal in the civil rights movement. All our stories are important, but our need for legacy, for purpose, this is one of the most defining characteristics of us as humans. We crave purpose and sadly, we can suffer serious psychological difficulties when we don't have that sense of purpose. We all have a need to connect the dots in our lives and make sense of it all. So today I want to unpack for you how you can live your legacy life just like Dr. King did. You know, Dr. King had a superpower which was he lived through his legacy and you know, Dr. Tammy Francis wrote a book called Reap More, another one called Manifest More. And in one of her TED Talks, she talks about how you can use your story to be an author of your story and live on purpose through your story. So how can we use legacy as a superpower? First, we'll define what legacy is, then we'll see what legacy is, and then we'll be able to act on it. So legacy is really about developing meaningful and lasting impact. It's about multiplying your life's impact through your action. It's about bringing together your past, your present, and your future. Or another way you can say this is your legacy is made up of your memories, opportunities, and your dreams. Second, we see that our world is made up of about seven legacies of generations. So in your community first, you are in your own generation and then you have your parents, your grandparents and maybe your great grandparents and then after you possibly your children, grandchildren, great grandchildren. That's seven generations that we live in and some of us may even have more. That's seven stories where you can literally see your legacy and seven stories where you can become like a time traveler going to different legacies and learning different things and bringing it all together to create that tapestry of who you are. Living your legacy life is about making the most of what you're given what you bring into what you've been given and actually yourself, and then what you share into your future in your world. Now, our worlds are made up of stories, but one thing I can tell you is that we're connected by the legacies of those who came before us, what we're doing, and then what we're gonna do to be able to impact the future. You know, Dr. King really had a quote where he talked about, you know, what are you doing in your life, right? How are you living your life with action? And to power up your legacy, this is the best part. You have to act. Each year when Martin Luther King Day comes around, a flood of emotions usually comes into me as we're marching. I think about celebrating, elevating, motivating, but this year, one word that is dominating my thoughts is fear. It's really difficult to find any successful movement where you you see people and you don't see that they may have been fearful before they stepped into the action. I think it's necessary to be fearful, but I've also learned that it's important to be okay with it and understand what is making you fearful and understand how it is impacting your life because you it can either paralyze you or you can use that same fear to spark into something that motivates you and makes you act and press on. So fear, F-E-A-R, could be fear everything and run or face everything and rise. You really have a choice to make. To power up your legacy, you have to choose whether to run away or rise. For Martin Luther King Day, I think you know what the answer is. 
we need to rise. We have to understand that there's a lot of work that still needs to be done. And I hope you will join in this spirit of moving causes forward that are important to all of us into the future. Martin Luther King Day for me is, it's more than just a national day of service. It's really a day of action. It's an opportunity for you to remember and maybe recommit yourself to your legacy story. Commit yourself to be in service to one another. So I ask you again, can dreams change the world? And yes is the resounding answer because I really believe that for you to achieve what you came to achieve in your life, you have to have action. The world may still be the same if Dr. Martin Luther King didn't have action to his dreams. We have to understand that we're standing on shoulders of others' dreams. So what is one thing that you can do today in service to the world that your future self and your legacy will thank you for? I'm Lisa Wisner, and I hope you were educated, I hope you were inspired, and I hope you were encouraged to be a power-up hero through your legacy because our world needs heroes today more than ever before, and I hope you will make today a powered-up day in service to the world and in service to yourself and to your community. Make it a powered-up day.